Western Australian wheat belt is an ancient land. Its soils were formed millions of years ago and have been weathered by wind and rain. You can see a model of the Taman landscape as Europeans found it in the 19th century. This was a gently undulating country covered by eucalypt woodlands and sandy heaths. A rich and diverse environment in a delicate balance. You can see a model of the Taman landscape after it was cleared for agriculture. More than 95% of the woodlands and heath that once covered the land were cleared for wheat and sheep farms in the late 19th and 20th centuries. Today, dry land salinity poses a major threat to these farmlands. This model demonstrates how salinity is caused and what can be done to prevent it. As the rain falls, see how the reservoir in the valley begins to fill. This shows how rain on the gentle uplands drains through the soil into the valley floors. Before they were cleared, the deep-rooted woodland trees that once covered this country used the water brought by rains. But in land cleared for farming, there are many fewer trees and the water table begins to rise. As the water rises, it carries salts, once stored deep underground, to the Earth's surface. These salts slowly accumulated in wheat belt soils over millions of years, but the rising water table pushes them to the surface, ruining farmland and livelihoods. There are ways of tackling the salinity threat. One technique involves replanting the vegetation that once existed on these soils deep-rooted trees that use the water and help restore the natural balance. You can see lines of trees planted near the road on this model. Another strategy is to pump the water from underground before it rises, carrying salts to the surface. There are several ways of doing this, by using mechanical windmills, solar-powered bores, or electrical bores to pump the water into evaporation ponds or for treatment in desalination plants. See how each of these solutions helps lower the water table in the model. Salinity threatens more than a third of all wheat belt land in Western Australia. But as you've seen, there are many ways of tackling the problem. <laughs> 